welcome to my studio in Margate in Kent. My name's Brian. I've been painting for many years and I've been running art classes for about 13, 14 years now. So I'd like to take this opportunity and film in my classes, put them together so that you can watch and follow along with us and hopefully learn a new things and maybe revisit some old things. The classes and courses that I run here in my studio help to support a project that I set up about 16 years ago with a friend of mine. We're called Looking Ahead and we work with young adults with learning needs where we support them towards realistic work and independent living. So if you'd like to find out more, please visit my website www.briandavenportartist.com And don't forget to like or subscribe if you like the channel. So let's get started. I use a 20 by 16 piece of watercolour paper, cold pressed, 140 pounds, 300 grams. I put my mount on the board and draw around it. I then with clean water, wet from the top down to the horizon line. Where the paper is shiny, it's wet, and where it's dry, it's not shiny. So wet the top, make sure it's nice and shiny from the top to the horizon line. The picture we're doing here is with one colour and it's burnt umber and we're going to do a sepia picture of a lock in Scotland. So the sky is going to be wet into wet so we need to wet it all. You have around about two minutes before the paper starts to dry. I'm now going to pick up some paint and I'm going to put a wash from the top of the paper down to the horizon line. Go straight across. Try not to stop. We want a nice even wash here. In a little while I'm going to pause, let the paper dry and then bring in some mountains once I've done the sky. And at that stage if you want to you can pause with me and you can get to this stage. Continue painting and finish at the bottom. My paper is upright on an easel where I'm painting and gravity obviously will make the water and paint run down. So in a little while I'm going to pick up a tissue and just wipe up the bottom half of the paper where the lock's going to be. And just keep that nice and clean, as straight edge as possible. And in a moment as well I'm going to pick up another stronger colour of the same colour which is burnt umber and bring in a cloud. Just use the brush as a flat brush and then turn it to a chisel edged. Watercolour paint is translucent so what happens here is by putting on a stronger colour the colour of the sky behind this cloud will come through so it will make it slightly darker so with watercolour paint all you're doing is putting on layers and the more layers you put on the darker the paint becomes the closer it gets to you. What I'm doing now is I'm going to let it dry it dries there you see the change in the colour and I'm going to start painting in mountains from one side to another with the edge of the brush Watercolour paint dries a third lighter. And what I'm going to do here is just, just paint in and fill these mountains in from the top to the horizon line. And I'm going to build up many layers of the same colour over the tops of the mountains. And now I'm just going to finish off across the bottom line here on the horizon line and just block it in. So over the edge, it doesn't matter, the mount goes round, you won't see it once it's in the frame. And I'm going to just tidy up this corner here, keep it flat along the horizon line, and just put a little bit more colour on. And just randomly put this on for texture, and as it dries, it will dry a third lighter, as I say. I'm going to leave it to dry, like you can see there now. 
and we'll come in with a stronger colour and we'll start on the right hand side and I'm going to go across the top following the top part exactly with the edge of my brush and go along here and then just start to cut across the centre part leaving the centre piece unpainted and then I'm just going to block that in again with colour and the stronger I make it the closer it's going to get so the more paint I put with it the darker the mountain becomes the closer it becomes towards me so I don't know if you see it now but the little distant mountain there because it's only had a couple of layers on that and the front one's had a number of layers it's getting stronger and darker and pick up some more paint let it dry and then go on again and all I'm getting here is, is more pigment less water and I'm just going to follow that line across keep it exactly and we'll go across here across to the centre and start coming across here to give me, me out another mountain so this one comes closer on the right hand side the left hand side one I will cover in in a moment with some more paint so I've now left me me mark where I want the front mountain to be I'm just going to colour this one in here follow that across so I cross to the centre and end up on the horizon line and I'm going to leave it to dry and put another layer of coat on the right hand side mountain and then what I've got there is the three peaks there'll be one on the right one on the left and the center one leave it to dry you'll see the change in a moment in color there you go and i'm going to start with the water dry brush technique pick up a light color wash um, the same color as the sky just gently run my brush across no pressure just let the weight of the brush touch the paper and because the paper is a rough paper it leaves these little sparkles of water run underneath it and come down again leaving some more sparkly water and it's also leaving little ripples and marks keep the brush nice and flat control the water so pick up some paint and water on your brush touch it on the tissue if it's too wet it won't work but if it's dry enough you get the sparkles don't push as I say with the brush pressure that squeezes out the paint and I'm doing here now is just going over just the center part on the foreground and um, adding more paint to it just to darken it slightly getting ready to put the land in I work from left to right you can work right to left you can work both ways as you see here I'm coming across the other way now just to vary the, the ripples on the water I'm going to leave that to dry I'm going to pick up some pigment raw raw paint touch of water um, burnt umber this is and I'm going to just come in with a chisel edge brush and on the left hand side I'm going to start painting in some land and you can slope the brush down to get a slope a bank coming down or you can keep the brush flat and level to give an impression of sand or mud flats and little sandbanks I'm going to come in both sides here and just leave a little inlet of water And that is a little bit stronger value than the than the mountains in the back keep the brush straight and flat level with your horizon line just keep blocking it in nicely the edges of the paper where I draw around with the mount you can go over the pencil lines I use it sometimes for testing color when I'm doing other pictures 
So once you've got the mount around it, as you see at the end, you'll see that it's, you won't be seeing any of it. And then I'm going to put in some rocks in a moment. And what I do with rocks, I just put in very strong pigment, a little water, not a lot, and then I pick up a gift card or a credit card or you can use a stiff piece of card and you put it on the paint and you do a circle motion and you go from left to right with the card keep this flat edge of the card against the paper so here I am putting on the rocks and you'll see as I pick up the gift card that I just go from left to right little circle motions pushing gently against the paper don't let the corner dig in, just the edge of the, the card and you'll create some little tiny rocks. You start from the top and work down, small ones at the top, bigger as they get closer. As you can see here, you've got these lovely little textures and these rocks happening. Just little boulders down in the locks in Scotland on some places you get these amazing big rock formations there. there and I'll go on the other side as well just to sort of give us some more rocks and drop a few in the front there as you can see the paint's very strong it's a very strong color and you scrape it you can do this effect with two or three colors together and as you scrape it through you can get gray rocks brown rocks green rocks rocks with moss on and it works because I've got rough paper and it's the roughness of the little dipples in the um, paper that causes that effect. Just put a few more on. And in a moment I'm going to be putting on some boats the center or just off center of the picture and put some more rocks at the bottom here you can put in as many as you want if you're following me you know do stop the, the video pause it get to the next stage and keep going I'm putting quite a few rocks down here in the corner and as I say if you are following you don't need to do the many rocks do with what you want I'm going to zoom in here now and look at the center just off center I'm going to pick up a small brush with just water on it I'm going to work in the water into that dark colour at the back and I'm thinking of a shape of a triangle and I'm just working it in, just washing away some of that paint. I'm going to lift that colour off and I'm going to get a little sail, tiny little thing here. The idea of this is to give you an idea of scale, take a tissue to it, there's your little white sail. And the scale it tells you how big those mountain ranges are, so I'm going to put in another one here. A slightly bigger one coming closer to us and I'm going to put in a little bit underneath it in a moment a little reflection in the water and the lock I'm just coming down here keep working the paint and water together get a tissue out in a moment and just take it off there's the two sailboats and I'm going to get up some burnt umber put a little mark underneath the boat on both of them, leave a little gap between the sail and the boat, the bottom of the boat. As you can see here, I'm putting just some little dots in here, resembling people sitting on the back. Just a few little suggestions. Wash the brush, clean water, and in the water, just paint in the same shape as a triangle, lifting some of the sparkles off there. And you get a tissue and lift it off. And you should have a, a reflection in the water. There's the picture there now finished. What I'm going to do now is just put a mount around it and put it up and show you. There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the, the boats and the rocks. You might, I may zoom in here. The light may change but that's just because I'm going in close. Sorry about that. 
Now you see the little boat, you can see little people on there, the sparkly water happening. As I pull back, you see the rocks. I'd like to thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll join me next time. I'm Brian Davenport, watercolour artist. Thank you.